Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So as you can see today, we're back in the truck. So we're doing another truck video. This time, as you can tell from the title, um, I wanna have a real discussion on should you mod your truck or vehicle. It doesn't necessarily have to be a truck. Should you just mod your vehicle in general? Now, of course, this is a channel where I mod my truck and my Mustang. If y'all don't know it, if you're just watching this video, I just recently bought a Roush Mustang. Uh, those videos will start trickling in, so if you like Mustangs um, and you didn't know I bought one, well, then check out those videos. There's a couple of them up already, but there'll be more to come. But um, this is a channel where I do mod my truck. So do I think you should mod your truck? Well, as of me, yes, I think you should, or um, at least I think I should. I enjoy it. And that is one of the topics we're going to look at. I did write down some pros and cons, and we're going to go through these. Now, this is a real discussion because a lot of people may have a misconception about if I stick a $1,300 exhaust system on my truck, that I have increased the value of my truck by said $1,300. That is not the case. And we're going to get into that here in a little bit. Um, realistically, if you stick a $1,300 exhaust system on your truck, you might have increased your truck at the dealership. You probably didn't increase it at all. But, you know, to the right person, you might have increased it two to $300. I mean, mods really don't raise the value of your truck that much unless you just find that right person. But like I said, we'll get into that here in just a minute. So let's go through some of the pros. Um, please stay tuned to later in the video because we're going to go through the cons too. And the cons is really what I want to focus on because we all know that I like modding this truck. That's no surprise. I've spent tons of money on this truck. And actually, I've had several people ask me, um, how much would it cost me if I wanted a truck like yours? So I'm actually going to do a video coming up probably next week on what it would cost to build this truck again. Now, I'm going to take a new truck. I did buy this as a demo. I got lucky and found this truck. It's not every day that you can get lucky and find a truck like this that is a demo. So we're going to take the price of a new truck, a local truck. I'll just get online and find it. And then I'll mod it out and tell you what it would cost to do that. But today, we're going to really tackle, should you do that? So let's go through some of the pros. Of course, the top pro for me is the look. I don't do a ton of off-roading. I didn't buy this expensive a truck to go beat it up in the mountains or somewhere like that. And uh, I got a lot of school buses going by. There's a lot of kids living in my neighborhood that are everywhere. Sorry about that. But, um, you know, I didn't buy this expensive a truck to, you know, beat up. So, of course, I'm not going to take this through the woods and scratch it all to pieces. Now, some people do that. I don't have the money to replace this truck like I would like to if something happened to it. So, I try to take as good a care of it as I can. So, a main reason that I mod this is for looks and that's perfectly okay if you're okay with spending that much money on something to look at that's great you earn that money it's your hard-earned money and you can spend it on what you want to which is why i did it number two is some mod stop you know rock chips and stuff like that i put the fender flares on my truck because i was throwing rocks up and hitting the side of it because i have wide tires and that pretty much stopped the rock chip problem so there you know, I probably did actually save the value of my truck a little bit because rock chips, I would have probably had to have it repainted because some of them were very deep and you can't buff the deep ones out. So, you know, if you have a real serious reason on why to do it like I did, then, you know, that's another good reason. Now, I could have not put those tires on and I wouldn't have had that problem, but I did. And so I had to spend a little bit more money. Um, Easier entry, if you don't have side steps on your truck, maybe you want to mod it and put the side steps on, um, just so you can get up in it easier. And that's perfectly a legitimate reason to do that. And if you don't have side steps, I would suggest it. It just makes the truck easier to get into. Um, more ground clearance. If you do like off-roading your truck, if you lift it, then you're certainly going to get more ground clearance and you'll be able to go more places. That is a totally legitimate reason, um, especially if you own a four-wheel drive and you like going off-road. Lift that truck, get more ground clearance, go more places. If you want to delete the chrome, I don't like chrome. There are people that do, so next on the list is add chrome. So if you want to add or delete chrome, um, whatever your preference is, 
there's tons of mod out there that you can do any of that with. You can change it to carbon fiber, red, green, purple, chrome, whatever color you want and make it to your liking. That kind of goes back to the looks, but whatever you prefer, you can do that. Um, exhaust, um, you know, just horsepower in general. If you're wanting more power, um, you know, you can add intakes, exhaust, superchargers, anything like that. So if you need more power for towing, I mean, that'd be a perfectly good reason to do stuff like that. Or if you just want more power. Now, I didn't necessarily add mine for the power. Um, mine is more for the next thing as sound. My intake sounds awesome, especially with the plug out. I've said that before. And the exhaust has just the right note. I don't get a lot of drone in the cabin. The exhaust is a good exhaust. It's a Borla exhaust, a dual Borla exhaust. And it sounds nice when you get on it. But when you're traveling down the interstate, it doesn't drive you crazy with that drone inside the cabin. But it does have a nice sound to it. So if you're wanting a more meaner, beefier sounding truck, you can put an exhaust and an intake on it. If you like the supercharger whistle or whine, you can do that. That is a pricey mod. But um, you can do that and certainly get that noise and have a lot more power if you want to go that. If you want better vision at night, if you're hard of seeing at night, I know as I get a little older, I don't see as good at night as I used to, even after I had LASIK. You can put LEDs in your truck all the way around it, and it really brightens that truck up. Now, if you buy a 2018 or above Tundra, it will come with LED bulbs. Um, unfortunately, mine is a 16, and it did not come with them. Now, I am thinking about upgrading my bulbs to a 2018 like sport or something like that sounds and um that way i would have like factory leds in it so i may actually do that but it will definitely help you see better at night because they do project out further and they are a lot brighter than the stock bulbs um keeping things in the dry so you could like put a bed cover on now that's not a huge mod and i i do consider that a mod but not like something crazy so you can throw a bed cover or tenu cover on a trifold like i've got you can put stuff back there like i do my luggage going on vacation and keep that dry or also as i do on vacation lock your tailgate and keep it somewhat secure where there's a wheel there's a way and somebody can always break into your truck but you can do that um keep the interior from fading you can tent the windows my windows are tinted 20 percent all the way around with a strip of five across the top and it will save your interior and it also keeps the truck pretty cool. So, you know, if you're looking for that um, cooler temperature inside on a hot day or you don't want your leather or something like that to fade, tint your windows. I mean, that's a pro. These are the pros we're talking about. They're, that's a pro to, you know, modern your truck. You can keep it cooler in the summertime and save your interior. And the last pro I have is keeping mud off the carpets. You can put in uh, like the Husky liners like I've got, and it is a lot better option than the stock floor mats. These floor mats are way better. This is not a huge mod. It does not cost a lot of money, and it doesn't affect your truck in any way, shape, or form because you can just put the other floor mats back in it if you decide to get rid of the truck. But it is a mod, and it will save your carpet better than the factory ones do. So let's get into some of the cons. Um, I hope you all stayed this long into the video because this is really what I wanted to talk about. But I wanted to go through some of the pros just to give you some pro options on why I did some of mine and why it's good to mod your truck. But here's the cons. The cost. To mod this truck, when I do the video of what it would cost to buy this truck new and then mod it like I got it, I'm probably going to be amazed at it. Because I didn't buy all these mods right off the bat and have them all done at one time. I bought them piece by piece. Now, when I start adding that up, I'm probably going to be a little freaked out on how much I spent on this truck. But that is a big cost. So you have to take that into consideration. If you're going to mod your vehicle, how big and how bad are you going to go with it? And how much is that going to cost? You can spend enormous amounts just on suspension alone. If you go with like a true suspension lift, you can spend upwards of $9,000 or more. I mean, it's the sky's the limit on that stuff. So, you know, the cost is definitely an issue there. Resale value. Like I said, just because you put a $7,000 suspension on your truck 
does not automatically make it worth $7,000 more. Now, I know a lot of us know that, but some of us may not. They may literally think if I put $7,000 suspension on a $50,000 truck, that it's automatically worth $57,000. That's not the case. It could even lower the value of your vehicle on some mods. So depending on what mod you do, really could depend on whether it increases or decreases the value of your vehicle. Um, and it depends on who wants to buy it. You may have a harder time selling it. You may have made that truck exactly what you wanted it, but the guy down the road or 10 people down the road may hate it and may not want nothing like it. And there you are trying to find out exactly what you can sell the truck for. And you may not get anywhere near, and more than likely, you're not gonna get anywhere near what you have in the truck because banks will only loan to a certain amount. So if your truck is worth $50,000, and you have another 15,000 in it, well, the bank's only gonna loan $50,000. The other person has to come up with the $15,000 if that's what you're asking for, and they're probably not gonna do that. They're probably just gonna buy the truck for $50,000 and then go out and do their own mods and make it what they want. So next is um, like cost of repair, of like tire replacement. So you went with a lifted truck. You put your bigger tires on it. You put the mud tires on it. You did all this. Now your normal set of tires for, for like a stock truck is probably going to run you between $750 and $850. That's just a guess. I think my dad paid somewhere around there for his stock 20s on his uh, Silverado. And I think they were about the same size as these. So you're probably looking, let's say $800 in a ballpark figure. But when you go to a 35 by 1250, you have drastically increase the price of your tires and probably almost doubled them. So that goes back to the cost. You spent all this money initially to get this thing lifted and tires and wheels and everything like that. And uh, I think I think just the tires and wheels in this truck were somewhere around $3,500, $4,000 just for the tires and wheels. So when I go to change my tires, they're probably going to run me fifteen or $1,600 for a set of tires. So that never stops. You got to think about that. If you own this truck for 10 years, how many times are you going to change the tires? How many times that $1,500 is going to bite you in the hind end? You could void the warranties. That's a big con. You could go out and buy a new truck and it like Toyota did the lift on my truck. So it's covered under warranty. But if you take it to just somebody else and let them do your lift, it could definitely void your warranty on your suspension. So if you have any issues with your suspension, Toyota will say, nope, we didn't lift it. It's not stock. Our, our shop didn't do it. Whatever happens, if it's if it's a $3,000 fix, it's on you. Now, luckily, there's companies like S&B Intakes, which is what my intake is, and like Magnuson Superchargers that will give you a warranty with their product and say, you know, if it voids the warranty of your vehicle, we will cover it because we know our product did not do any damage to it. So you want to look for stuff like that when you're doing, you know, warranty or um, doing mods to your truck. Try to get stuff that will maintain the factory warranty or will give you a warranty if it does void the factory warranty. But a lot of mods will actually void your factory warranty. Um, cabin drone. If you, like we talked about a minute ago for noise, if you choose the wrong um, exhaust, you could be driving down the interstate at like 60 mile an hour and it could be driving you nuts. And then you might have spent $1,200 on exhaust and want to take it right back off. Um, that's why YouTube is good. You get to see people like me that put exhaust on our truck and you get to hear different exhausts and stuff like that. Um, but you can't hear that stuff as good on a camera as you can in real life. So you just have to take my word, say my boil exhaust doesn't have a big drone. Who knows? Your hearing might be better than mine. I shoot a lot. Um, so your hearing might be better and it might drive you crazy, but my wife here is pretty good and she don't think there's a drone either. So Borla is a pretty good one to go with. But you know, if you get some of the other ones, they may be way too loud. And last but not least, you could break something doing the mod yourself. Um, I have actually done this. I was putting on a mirror cap and broke one of the cab or tabs on my mirror cap that I was putting on. I actually need to replace a mirror cap now because it, um, it chipped the paint chip. So I've got to get a new one. 
And I'll do a video on that because I didn't do a video um, on the mirror caps because I didn't have a YouTube channel at the time. But I actually broke the tab on my new mirror cap and had to buy a new one. That's very easily done. You can easily break something doing a mod and then cost you more money to replace it. I mean, that's just the way it is. So be very careful if you do your mods. So in closing, do I think you should mod your truck? That's really a personal decision that you're going to have to make. Um, yes, I modded my truck. I don't regret any of it. I would do it all over again, and I love my truck. I can't say you should do that. Does it look cool? Yes, it looks awesome. Is a lot of this stuff functional? Yes. If I want to take it off-road, I've got a lot of ground clearance. My flares stop rocks from hitting the side of the truck. A lot of functional stuff in there. But should you do it, you're going to have to take these cons into consideration because these cons are very, very real. Are you willing to void your warranty for something that you did to your truck? Are you willing to pay that $1,500 for a set of tires ever 35 or 40,000 miles? However often you wear out tires, you know, depending on where you live, mountainous region, regions, curves, stuff like that, wear out tires differently. So are you willing to pay that for those tires, you know, every time you turn around, every, every 35, 40,000 miles. I mean, that's stuff you have to take into consideration. That is real life money that you have to think about. And only you can decide, you know, if you're willing to do that. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope this helps shed some light on some stuff because just because you mod your vehicle doesn't make it worth more money. It may actually make it worth less. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.